Hi, this is Coach John here from Learning Out of the Box. And today I'm going to go through a few questions 14 of PSLE paper 222, paper 2. All right, so let's start. Okay, so take some time and pause the video and read through the, the question. I can then we start. All right, okay, so first of all, I think it's very important to understand the question and then let's make let's use green. All right, so it's a uh, green. Uh, Water, yeah, probably uh, it's like algae and uh, or you want to talk about celery juice, you know, which I don't like. Okay, so right now you have uh, right, two containers X and Y, and then um, and it's at first, and at first means that actually the water is only filled until here, and of course uh, you can fill some more in X, but this is a total of five units. Why? Because I'm talking about here on our five. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut away one U. And then this one you will actually go into this. Okay. Yeah. So and you should, should be filled to the top without overflowing. All right. And then it will be filled until here. Okay. So part A, what I will do is how much water was there in excess first? Which also means that meaning that um since this is actually the green water, yeah, which is equals to one U. So one out of five of the water in X uh, at first uh, is at first not the whole of X. At first will be um fifteen times twelve times eight, which is from from Y, which is equals to one four four zero cm cube. Okay, okay, and of course uh, to find how much water at first um in X will be five units. So we have five out of five times X, which is the whole thing for A. Okay, and then you have um one four four zero times five, which is equals to seven thousand and two hundred cm cube. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, so this question requires you to visualize in you know, some ways. All right. Yeah. Okay, so right now what you will do is ray then pour all the water from Y, then okay, which means that you have everything here. Okay, have everything here and then that goes into X again and then with a bit of water left and and uh that is one two zero cm cube that overflowed. All right, so which means that whatever that you have that fills here, you have to minus away uh one two zero. All right, so 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 from y, okay, the whole of y, yeah, the whole of y. The whole of y, okay. Change to a pen. Okay. So the whole of y is actually um 15 times 12 times 22. Yeah, because here is 22. And you gotta take the whole of y as you can see, like the bandong. Yeah, now change the bandong, okay? Then we have 3960 cm cube. Yeah, but bear in mind that it overflowed. So what goes into x are? Is actually three nine six zero get overflow means out. You have to minus, yeah. So it's a three eight four zero cm cube. Okay, which is the one you can see the bandong that is uh floating inside. Yeah, floating inside. Okay, so which also means that you have to um add in. Yeah. Okay, one thing that means out is actually remember this one actually um is what. Is being filled. This red space is filled by the bandong here. So the bandong from here fill goes into here and fills the bandong. Okay. Yeah. So the red zone here is actually yeah 3840. Okay. And then take note that you also have to add uh four fifth of the X because you have to add the four units here. Okay, so four units, four units here will be four out of five of X at first. We will have Four times one four four zero equals to um how much? Five seven six zero. Okay, so all these are done beforehand so that I can focus on the explanation. So the all of X uh, is actually your three five three eight four zero plus your five seven six zero. So add them together, which is your total volume, okay, which is equals to Nine six zero zero cm cube, and to find the height of x, right? Yeah, you have to take nine six zero zero divided by the base area, which is twenty 
and 15 after you multiply them. Yeah, so which is a total of 32 cm. So this is the height of x. So um, my takeaway from here is uh, what kids will get stuck is because though it's a question on 2D paper, but I think what some kids uh, who struggles with visualization, you'll find that it's very hard to see, oh, actually this one flow into, uh, part of this flow into there, and then the whole of this actually flow back into here, but it has to replace the void, I mean the emptiness here, and plus the one unit here, and then you have to plus the for you, yeah, to add up to become the whole of X, to be the whole volume, and you have to then divide by the base area to find the height. Yeah, so these are some things that I think um, some kids will struggle with, and then as parents, we can do our, our um, contribution in terms of maybe uh, using two containers and then or drawing out, drawing in a bigger scale to help the child to see. All right, so um, I hope this helped. And if you feel that this question can benefit someone else, feel free to share with them so that we can reach out to more kids. Okay.